So what I want to do now is I want to have bookmarks in the in the top right next to my URL. I want to have bookmarks of shortcuts of all the places that I usually visit inside QuickBooks Online. So you have to pay close attention to this, okay? So for example, let's say I want to I'm going to go into my dashboard. So I'm currently in my dashboard at the moment. If you look in the right, there's a little star all the way to the right. It's kind of hard to find. See if I can uh, highlight it here. You see a little star all the way to the right. OK, and if you click on that, it'll create a bookmark and the bookmark is the, is off this page of the home page. So up here, I want to type uh, home page. OK, or I can give it whatever name I want and then I click on done. And what this will do is it will now create a home page for that particular page. So if I click on the drop down um, uh, settings menu on the right, which is those, those little three dots that are there, there's um, a bookmarks uh, window or a bookmarks menu and it says show bookmarks bar. So I'm going to click on show bookmark bar and I can hit control shift B for that. So control shift B will open and close my bookmarks bar. So up here I have home page. Then let's say, for example, I want to go to banking and I'm going to do this several times so you can kind of follow along. And then I'm going to click on the uh, bookmark page again, click on bookmark. And then in this one, I'm going to call it banking and then hit done. And notice that up here in the top, um, in the top, left of the screen i don't think i can zoom in here and the top left of the screen you can see that we see banking and home page being constructed here i'm going to click on sales and then i'm going to click on let's say for example clients then i'm going to click on the bookmark button again or that little star and i just hit done then i'm going to click on expenses and then i'll click on vendors and then i'm going to click on the star again hit the bookmark hit done and now you start seeing all my bookmarks on the uh, top of the screen. I'm going to go to workers and employees, hit the bookmark button or the star button, and then I have that in there. I probably should change the name of that to employees. Okay, so you can actually right click and change the names to whatever you want. Then let's say, for example, I go to reports and then bookmark that as well. And I'll type reports and hit uh, done. And it will basically save, uh, I can do the entire a sequence of options uh, here in the in the top of the screen. But one of the things that really will blow your mind and get ready for this is I can also bookmark specific reports. So for example, I'm gonna click on profit and loss and then I'm gonna click on uh, last year and then I'm gonna do uh, run reports, okay? And let's say that this particular report, I always go to it all the time for whatever reason and I can even customize it. So I can actually compare it with percentage of income and hit run or switch it to cash or accrual, or whatever I want. And then once I have this report on the screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, bookmark page. I'm going to click on the little star and then I'm going to call this uh, PNL last year or something like that. And that will take me, uh, that will create the shortcut for that. So if I go back into banking, okay, and I basically got out of my report and then I go back to that PNL last year, it will automatically generate that report for me. Now, the other really cool thing about this is if I end up doing, let's say, a balance sheet as well, and maybe several reports. So let me do a balance sheet now. Okay. And I'm going to do, let's say, last year as well. And I compare this one with previous period and dollar change, which is usually the type of re the type of reports that I pull. And there, there it is. And then I'm going to click on the star for the bookmark, and I'm going to call this BS last year and I hit OK. Now I have two reports in two different tabs. Now one of the things that's really cool about this is I can right click in the bar in the top and click on Add Folder. Okay, and then on the folder, I can create a folder called Reports. Okay, so I'm just creating a folder called Reports and I can click and drag those reports into that report folder like this. So I can actually build an entire menu of reports in here. So for example, let's say I have the um, statement of cash flows as well, okay? And those are the three reports that I pull all the time. And I click on reports, then I click on the star again, and uh, put it in the reports folder, and, and I give this a name, let's call it statement of cash flows last year, okay? Whatever you wanna call it. Of course, that's up to you what you wanna call these reports. And then that should be in my menu. So I actually love this. I think this is one of the most, this is possibly one of the, most powerful things you can do um, in QuickBooks. Now, there's something that I 
it's a, it's a really important nuance here. So this is something that becomes really, really tricky and you need to pay close attention to this. So I did this all for this company file here called Quick Bookkeeping of Miami, okay? I'm gonna switch to another company file called uh, QBK Test for a second. So I'm switching to a different company file altogether. And then I'm gonna pull, and this is just a workaround for something that I think the developers didn't think about, but this company is called Hector's Construction and Decorating Design. If I actually pull the report that I already saved, what it's going to do is it's going to bring me the title of the old report, or sometimes it gives me an error like this. Um, depends on really, uh, some. so one of the tricky things about this is depending on how the report is constructed, you would get errors like this. So what I end up doing is I create a Google Chrome user per company. And this is something that it's been kind of a roller coaster because a couple of months ago before they changed some of the URL settings, this stuff just worked beautifully. Like you could, you could, you could change across multiple QuickBooks files and this stuff worked with no issues. Now when you customize the reports and you go across multiple QuickBooks files, uh, you just have um, just, just really weird issues uh, that it starts uh, behaving with this report. So I ended up creating a Google Chrome user for every company file and I reconstruct this whole process just to make sure that I don't have any issues. Let me go back to uh, the company that I was working uh, with earlier. Now, one of the, the good news about this is you can actually export uh, these settings, okay? So it's only really the reports, it's only really the reports that become an issue. Everything else works really great. The reports are the ones that get a little bit tricky, but I can click on the settings here and then click on bookmark and then I can click where it says bookmark manager and then I can actually export, if I click on the right of the screen, I can export my bookmarks. So if I click on export bookmarks and I save this somewhere in the desktop like this, okay, and let's say I'm gonna have a different Google Chrome user. Let me switch over to a different Google Chrome user for a second just to show you. I'm gonna create a new, a new Google Chrome user. Let me create a new one. I'll create this dog here and we'll do, we'll call it Hector2. Okay, so once you set up your nice set of bookmarks, then you have a brand new Google Chrome user that has no bookmarks. So then I'm gonna go to the bookmarks menu and then click on bookmarks manager. And then I can click on this little three dots there and click where it says import bookmarks. Okay, so I click on import bookmarks and then select the bookmarks that I just edited and click on open. And this will bring in all my bookmarks into a different uh, Google Chrome user. So that's actually really, really powerful stuff. Um, it to have, let me close that Google Chrome user here. Okay, and let me go back to the home page. Okay, so that's uh, that's bookmarks. And then I'm gonna show, so after you master that bookmarks section, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, there's a free app called uh, Sidebar, I think it's called. Let's go to it. So I'm gonna go into um, Google Chrome extensions. Actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Google here and type Google Chrome extensions. So I'm gonna go to Google and type Google Chrome extensions. And I'm gonna to go to the extension store. And I'm gonna search an extension called Sidebar. And this is, you're gonna love this. Um, you go to Sidebar, it's, uh, oh, what is it? Um, bookmark Sidebar, I forget what the name is. Okay, right here, it's called Bookmark Sidebar. So that's really important. It's that first one here called Bookmark Sidebar. And it's, a, and it's a free, it's a free Google Chrome extension. And what it does is it helps you go um, use the bookmarks that you created in the top, and then you can actually customize how these bookmarks are showing on your screen. So I'm gonna click on Add to Chrome here, and, and go to Add Extension, and this is basically like an app for Google Chrome, but it's free, so it's pretty awesome. And here on the, on the right side of the screen, now you're gonna see a little logo of a bookmark. Let me go back into QuickBooks here. So if I click on the little logo of a bookmark, now you see how on the left-hand side, um, I get this menu come up that is a bookmarks bar. So it shows me basically a bookmarks bar on the left-hand side. But I already have a left-hand side sort of navigation in QuickBooks Online. So I wouldn't actually put this on the left-hand side. I would go into the settings. I wonder where the settings are. Um, forget where the settings are in this thing. Uh, let me go to options, I believe. There it is. So I right-clicked on the icon and clicked on options. And then you go to appearance, I believe, or uh, general sidebar. I forget, I forget, I set this up so long ago. Oh, there it is, on the first one. CSS position left, I put this on the right. And you're gonna see this, this is pretty awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna save the changes. So now I'm gonna go back into QuickBooks Online. I have my bar on the left that I can collapse 
and expand for QuickBooks Online. And then if I bring my cursor to the right, we see that little thing that comes in. If I click on that, then I have my bookmarks on the right-hand side as well. So regardless of where I am in QuickBooks, if my cursor is on the left-hand side, I can go into sales or customers, whatever it happens to be, or I can go to my right-hand side, click on that, and go to clients as well. So this, this, is, this feels trivial because this will save you a second or two. But when you're in QuickBooks all day long with me, I mean, like me, and you're clicking and adding transactions and all that stuff, um, you know, saving a second or two per transaction times a thousand customers, to me, it makes a really huge difference. So that's that's the sidebar. And there's a lot of cool things with a sidebar. I'm going to do the options real quick. And you can play with this. You can, um, there is a, you can change the appearance. You can change the font. You can make this a dark mode. Um, you can change the color scheme and whatever. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of options here. You can change the size if you want to make it really wide or really thin, whatever you want. Depends on really, um, you know, how big you want the header to be. So you have full control and it's a free app. It's pretty, pretty amazing. So you have full control over it. And then, and then whatever bookmarks you set up, they're going to be here on the right side for you.